Hello friends, in this video we are going to learn how we can draw a rectangle using mouse on a canvas. So for this I have my basic project set up with the width and height of the canvas as 500 pixels. I have the stroke style set up as black, line cap round and line width as 5. And I have uh, stored the canvas value in the canvas ref and the its context value in the context ref. I have also some functions set up here. So the start drawing rectangle will be called when uh, the mouse button is pressed. Uh, the draw rectangle function will be called when we move our mouse over the canvas and the stop rectangle, stop drawing rectangle function will be called when we uh, release the mouse button or we move our mouse out of the canvas. So let's begin. First of all, to draw a canvas, we'll need to know the position of the canvas uh, according to the viewport and the starting position from where we are actually from where we have actually started drawing the rectangle over the canvas so for this i am going to create some variables so i've created these two variables to store the x and y position of the canvas with relative to the viewport i am going to create two more variables so these two variables start x and start y will store the starting position of the mouse from where we have started drawing the rectangle over the canvas now let's get the position of the canvas with respect to the viewport. So for this I am going to create a variable called const canvas offset and uh, to get the position I am going to use canvas dot get bounding client rect function. This will give the uh, position of the canvas with respect to the viewport. So now I am going to get the offset x and offset y value of the canvas. So I need the top left position of the canvas. So for this, I'm going to use canvas offset x dot current is equal to canvas offset dot top and canvas offset dot y dot current is equal to canvas offset dot left. So I've got the top left position of my canvas stored in offset x and offset y value. So similarly you can get the top right, bottom right and bottom left value as well. So now let's start drawing the rectangle. So on mouse down we want to get the location of the mouse with relative to the canvas. So we need the start x and start y value of the mouse. So for this first I am going to insert the native event here and I am going to call native event dot prevent default and native event dot stop propagation now let, let's get the starting position of the mouse so for that i'll say start x dot current is equal to native event dot client x and similarly start y dot current is equal to native event dot client y also we need to add one more thing here so this is the position of the mouse on the screen but we need to get it relative to the canvas so from this we are going to remove the canvas offset x dot current so this will actually give us the position of the mouse with relative to the canvas with relative to the position of the canvas in the viewport so we'll get the position of the mouse inside the canvas again here canvas offset dot y dot current and uh, we'll set the value of the variable to 2 so that we actually know whether we are actually drawing on the canvas or not because for draw rectangle we are calling this function when the mouse is moving over the canvas so this can be called even when we do not click on the canvas so for that we need this variable to actually tell us if we are actually drawing or not so for the draw rectangle function I am going to again insert the native event and let's first check if we are actually drawing or not and if we are not drawing just return again I am going to copy paste this now while drawing we need the new position of the mouse over the canvas so for this I am going to create two variables new mouse x which will be native event dot client x and the new mouse y which will be native event dot client y 
again from these i'm going to remove the canvas offset x and the canvas offset y now these values will help us calculate the width and height of the rectangle which we are going to draw so we'll have the rec width as new mouse x minus start x dot current and the rec height as new mouse y minus starting position of y. Now we are going to call context ref dot current dot clear rect from this topmost position of the canvas to the width and height of the canvas. So canvas ref dot current dot width and canvas ref dot current dot height. So this function will clear the previous rectangle when we draw a new rectangle. This is optional and you can remove this line if you want. Now let's draw the rectangle. So stroke rect. So the starting position will be start x dot current start y dot current and the width and height will be the values which we have calculated. Finally, when we want to stop the drawing, we are going to use the is drawing variable and we are going to just set it to false. Now let's try this out. And if you see, we are able to draw the rectangle. And if we draw a new rectangle, the old one gets removed from the canvas. Now let's also try out how these two variables are actually helping us. So if I go over the CSS file and if I add a margin to a rectangle of let's say 100, 100 pixels, let's save this, refresh, and if we draw, it's actually drawing from the position where our mouse was there. Let's go back and uh, let's remove this. Remove this from here, remove this from here. Let's comment this up. Now let's try out. If you see, it's drawing from a position which is not concurrent to the position of the mouse. So for that, we'll need these two variables to help us get the position of the mouse related to the canvas. Thanks for watching.